Hi, so first we're going to look at what the web page of this new version of Ubuntu looks like. There seems to be just some information about the new version, and then obviously information like requirements and stuff like that, nothing extraordinary. So now let's go download this new version of Ubuntu. And now we start with the installation of this new Ubuntu, but first click that like button, and click that subscribe button, and also click that little bell button, and now let's continue. So they've updated the UI of the installation, it's quite a lot nicer, especially the new icons and shapes, I see they've added accessibility options, very useful if you have some health problems or who knows what else. This is a new installation method, it was made more for servers, it contains nothing but pre-configured settings, so if you want to like make a server with 10 virtual machines or computers this speeds it up. This is a really interesting part, if you remember just now about the updates from the site, here it now supports encryption or something like that with the TPM. So if you have data with Windows encrypted or who knows what, you can use this new ZFS. And just out of curiosity, let's see if they change the manual installation as well. Well, there was nothing new I guess, anyway as you can see they updated obviously the UI of the initial setup as well, apparently the web page is not responding, anyway let's have a quick look and move on. The icons and images are really great, anyway here is the Ubuntu Pro just just to have something more, then we have as always the information if we want to send them or not, however I would say yes to improve the system, and finally the part that tells us if we want to download apps from their updated store. I wanted to let you know some things about NVIDIA, it's really good news. NVIDIA has released new drivers, if you try this classic method you won't notice any difference, if you go to Vert Manager and try to use 3D acceleration with NVIDIA you know you'll get the error with the EGL, and if you install like this you won't notice any even changes in the NVIDIA panel. But if you go and download the drivers from the official NVIDIA website, which will offer you the very latest drivers, I think they're in beta anyway, and then you go and install them, you'll notice some things that will really surprise you. Really? For example you will no longer have the EGL error on Vert Manager but much better, just a display connection error, which is already a nice breakthrough for initial support for Wayland session. This means that after many years, yeah, NVIDIA will make drivers for the Wayland session, and for all those who like to experiment or any way you can one day finally run your virtual machines via Virgil, Android emulators, then also Chrome OS emulators, and things like that. In simple words, NVIDIA will finally get the Wayland session working properly, and believe me, it will be one of the most beautiful things in the world, however, now let's talk about the new kernel instead. Here my friend will explain everything, anyway they did a lot, and when I say a lot, really a lot, they added some new hardware, a lot of new hardware, improvements in some file system and things like that, and yes from what I read also improvements for virtual machines. And also looks like the addition for Intel Z graphics video cards, I hope this driver, also includes drivers for the famous, Intel Arc. Ah uh, yes, they also added GSP firmware from RTX 20 video cards onwards, and also improves stability for 10th generation Intel UHD graphics cards. And this was the part for the kernel, if I'm not mistaken the version should be 6, 8, 32 for now, or anyway since I made this video. Ah uh, yes it is something else, the basic audio system now should be Pipewire, of course there is still present the famous Pulse Audio. And just one other thing regarding virtual machines, if you try to run this new Ubuntu on VMware or on VirtualBox, you're going to get some really, really serious graphical glitches.
Now let's talk instead about the improvements of this new Ubuntu. First if you notice the central application menu icon, it has a new icon. Speaking of apps, they updated the camera app, as you see it has a new icon, and this is like the app, there doesn't seem to be anything special, unfortunately I don't know why it tells me there is no webcam or just camera. And I don't know, but maybe they updated the LibreOffice app icons as well? After taking a nap, with my little ginger brother. Say hello, to my to little ginger brother. They updated the file manager, now it seems that it has a search bar, unfortunately in the video I didn't show but they also updated the loading bar of when you transfer files. And they also added this feature similar to Windows 11. If you move an app to the side here you can kind of split the screen for two apps and a very nice thing, they also updated the system monitor, now it has the ability to look at the usage, the speed of your internal memory. They also updated the icons and short some stuff in the settings. They also updated this section of the mouse and touchpad, put some new options and updated and better icons. And here of course also the accessibility settings. Then here are the new privacy and security settings. And here instead we have the new settings, they added a really nice thing, the remote desktop, I mean they made a nice change here. And even here I have to say, it's not bad. If I'm not mistaken they also updated the store, to me everything looks identical to how it was on Ubuntu 23.10, however surely now the icon is different. I'll let you look at the store a little bit, but to me it all looks the same as the one in the previous version. One thing you may not have noticed, is that the famous Ubuntu game, namely Isle Riot Solitaire is no longer installed along with Ubuntu. If you don't know they also updated the firmware updater, in fact now I can see my SSDs slash HDDs, and maybe some other components, I'm not really sure but however, they did updated the firmware updater. They've also updated the notifications menu, I don't have notifications now, but if I should get emails or notifications come in from YouTube, there you should get the picture with the persons and the name of the app stuff like that. Oh, and how could I forget, of course there are new wallpapers from this new Ubuntu, and they are really very beautiful, and some really very interesting and cuddly. Now the clock app, it is put even if you have chosen to install as minimal or extended installation. Have also added the ability to share, the saved password of your Wi-Fi. They also updated the fonts, that's why if you see better texts I have in short fonts, better letters because they updated them. One thing I forgot to say about the kernel, they have improved the consumption on the battery that is consumes less, especially if you are AMD users. In the account settings, if you have added a Microsoft 365 account, you now have access to one drive, and quite similar as that of Windows. Also in the settings, in the network section, they added a new type of VPN, it's called WireGuard, it's supposed to be much but much better in terms of performance. Among the latest things they also added this thing, it's really very convenient to switch apps quickly. And as a last thing, 
This little panel has also been changed in fact now you can directly access the Wi-Fi, I mean the buttons where they have the little arrows. That was all, I must say that this new version of Ubuntu is really good, so if you want to download it I leave you the link in the description. Anyway, I really thank you very much if you've watched this far, please leave that like, subscribe to my channel, and activate that little bell to always receive videos like these. I think it's the best time to say goodbye, so thank you very much for the vision, see you who knows, another time? Anyway thank you for the vision, have a great day, goodbye.